Hello, we are going to see in this video how to design a MATLAB model based on imported signals and functions to generate automatically test cases and test suits to be executed in the tool PoofTech TA. First, launch PoofTech TA and make sure MATLAB Plus plugin is installed. To check if the plugin is available, go to the tool settings through the application menu. A MATLAB Plus tab shall be displayed with the location of the plugin on your workstation. We can now create a new MATLAB Plus project and give it a name. On the right of the screen, you can see that the MATLAB Plus view is still available. It is composed of two main tabs for your project signals and functions. To add signals in your MATLAB Plus project, go to the Signal Selection menu. Select the signals you need for your project, then drag and drop this selection to the Signal tab of your MATLAB Plus project. To add functions in your MATLAB Plus project, select the function library you want to use and drag and drop it to the function tab of your MATLAB Plus project. This function will be used in MATLAB tool to generate automatically test cases and test suits in ProofTech TA language based on your model. Now you have selected your signals and function, click on the export button and select the destination path for this data. Before designing the model into MATLAB, let me introduce the turn indicator system we are going to test. If you go in the work page tab, you have a view on the cockpit. From the cockpit, the user can manually perform some actions to see how the system reacts. For example, we can open or close the car, which makes all the turn indicators blinking. We can move the ignition button from OFF to ACC to ON and for a short time to START. We can use the left and right indicators and even the emergency flash lights. Finally, we can simulate a defect on one or several lights and see that turn indicators lights are blinking faster in case of detected default. What we want to do thanks to MATLAB is to design this system to generate test cases to perform automatically all these actions to fully test the system without any manual operation. Now let's switch to MATLAB. First, create a new project. The project structure is created and we can open the root chain which will be the starting point to design your model. Now, we want to import into MATLAB all signals and functions from PoofTech TA. Three files have been exported from PoofTech TA and shall be imported manually into MATLAB. First, import all input signals in the data library selecting the .inputs file generated by PoofTech. All signals are displayed in the import menu, then correctly imported in MATLAB data library. Then, import all output signals in the data library selecting the .outputs file generated by ProofTech. As before, they are correctly imported in MATLAB data library. Finally, import the scripting function selecting the .scripting file generated by ProofTech. These scripting functions are now available in the test platform library. A model is composed of states and transitions. A state represents the stable point of your system. A transition represents the action from the user or from the system to pass from one state to another. All the data of your model will be gathered into the transitions. On a transition, you can add a description to indicate which action is performed. You can link some inputs in the stimulation node. 
you can link some outputs in the verification node. You can link some requirements in the requirement tab. You can use some treatment functions to compute an expected result. You can map some scripting functions which will be used to generate the automatic test cases. One more important information is that MATLAB allows to create hierarchical models which means that you can design several layers into your model to define as precisely as you want the abstraction level of your system. Here, I can create a subchain to describe the inner behavior inside the state 1. I can do the same to describe even deeper what happens in the state 1-1 of this subchain. You can create as many layers as you want in your model. Now we can start to design our MATLAB model based on imported signals and functions from ProofTech TA. In the root chain, we will describe the ignition key workflow which contains five different states. So I create five states and I link them with transitions. If we want, we can add a description on the transition. For example, user reaches the car. I rename these five states according to the ignition workflow. Ignition lock, ignition off, ignition ACC, ignition on, and ignition start. Now we can start to link our signals into the model. I need to use the signal ignition switch state which has different values depending on the ignition state 0 for lock, 1 for off, 2 for ACC and so on. As when the user reaches the car the ignition state is lock, I select this transition and I link the signal ignition switch state in the stimulation node and set its value to 0. Then I link the output signal ignition switch request to the verification node as I wish to check its value is really equal to 0. I do it now for the transition between ignition lock and off. I link the input signals and set it to 1 and link the output signal and check it is equal to 1. The same between the state OFF and ACC. Input signal set to 2 and output signal to check it is equal to 2. The same between the states ACC and ON. Input signal set to 3 and output signal to check it is equal to 3. And finally, the same between the states ON and START. Input signal set to 4 and output signal to check it is equal to 4.
To generate automatically test scripts based on the model, I have to link the proof.txt scripting functions into the model. I open the test platform library where all scripting functions are available and I link the set ignition function to the transition. Then, I indicate that I want to use the value from the transition input. I also add the check ignition function for proof-tech TA to confirm during the test case execution that the ignition state is really at the expected level. We shall proceed the same way for all other transitions which contain some signals. Here is the final model of the turn indicator system. First, we have designed an initialization state in which we will simulate or not a defect on the turn indicator light. On the left branch, all lights are working normally while on the other branches, we will simulate a defect on one or several lamps. Then, we define the ignition workflow like we saw before in this video. When we enter into the ignition on state, we can see the different actions the user can perform. We also detailed how the system shall react depending on how long the user presses the turn indicator. All required signals and functions from ProofTech TA have been linked to the transitions of the model. Now, we can move to the generation view. You can select the chains of your model you want to test. Here, we take them all. Then, you can select the generation algorithm you want to use depending on your testing strategy. Here I choose the user-oriented algorithm to generate 10 case cases. We click on the generation button and the 10 cases are generated. If I open the first one, we can see how the test case looks like. We have a test case header which you can customize. Then you can see the test steps with all relative information, like the part of the model which is tested, the inputs and outputs, and even the requirements if you linked some inside your model. You can already use this test case if you want to perform manual execution. Now, I will add this test case to my project and then export it into ProofTech TA scripting format. I select the path I want to save it and then I click on the Finish button. We can now go back to ProofTech TA to execute this test case. First, we click on Import MATLAB test case and select the generated test case. We can open it to see how it looks like, and we can check that the syntax is correct. Then, we start the test case. We go to the cockpit to see the different actions of the test case. In the test case, the two real lights are a defect. We can see the actions on the initial state, the position of the turn indicator, and the blinking lights of the car. As we have some defects on the lights, they are blinking faster than usual.
we go back to the test manager view and wait for the test to finish. Finally, we can open the test report to see that all test steps are OK. And the final result is passed. As you saw in this tutorial, it is easy to export signals and functions from Proofdeck TA and to import them into Matello. Thanks to these signals and functions, you can design a model to generate automatically test cases for manual execution and test scripts to be imported and executed in Proofdeck TA. Thank you for watching this video and don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions about Matlab.